This is the 69th lecture in the FOA series of lectures on fiber optics. In this lecture, we're going to show you how to build a fiber optic link. In our demonstration, we're going to build a fiber optic link using two inexpensive media converters, some fiber optic cable, a computer with an Ethernet port, and an internet router also with an ethernet port. All of which are things that are readily available for anyone who'd like to do this demonstration. A fiber optic link has a transmitter which converts signals from the electrical domain to the optical domain and couples them in an optical fiber. The fiber transmits the signals to a receiver which is an optical to electrical converter. So the idea of a typical fiber optic link is that it takes an electrical signal, converts it to optical, and converts it back to electrical. A media converter is basically a fiber optic transceiver packaged in a standalone module. Its connection to the electrical domain is through a Cat5 cable for Ethernet, and the fiber optic cables are through standard fiber optic connectors. This is what a pair of media converters looks like. You can see they're small standalone boxes with power supplies, and they have fiber connections, duplex SC in this case, and a Cat5 unshielded twisted pair copper connection to Ethernet. They're standalone modules and they operate totally on their own to convert from copper to fiber. That's why we call them media converters. So what we have here is a laptop computer with an Ethernet port. And on the far end, a router connected to the Internet with a Cat5 Ethernet port also. The Ethernet port on the computer goes to a media converter, where the media converter converts it to single-mode optical fiber, two single-mode optical fibers in this case. Those fibers connect to a remote media converter, which does the media conversion back to the electrical domain and Cat5 for Ethernet. We'll demonstrate our fiber optic link by connecting to the internet and showing an FOA YouTube video on our laptop. We can tell the link is working because we can see the status lights on the media converter. The middle one showing us that the electrical connection to ethernet is operating and the lower one showing that the fiber optic link is working. So we can tell that our link is working from the status lights on the media converter. And here you can see the laptop playing the YouTube video, a video on how to clean fiber optic connectors. Yeah, showing the wrong way, of course, but you know that. So our link is now connecting the laptop over a Cat5 cable to a media converter and then over 200 meters of single-mode optical fiber to a second media converter which connects to our router to the internet and allows us to play YouTube videos over our fiber optic link. While the link is operating, we can use a fiber optic power meter and test the performance parameters of the link. We can measure the receiver power to see if it's within specs, the transmitter power also to see if it's within specs, and with those two pieces of data, we can calculate the loss of the fiber optic cable plant over which it is operating. To measure the receiver power, we unplug the fiber optic cable connected to the receiver, plug it into a power meter, and here we are reading minus 8.08 .08 dBm from our single-mode fiber. 
To measure the transmitter output, we unplug the patch cord that connects the transmitter into the fiber optic cable plant, and we measure the output of the transmitter at the output of that patch cord. In this case, we're measuring minus 7.19 dBm. With those measurements, we can calculate the loss of our cable plant over which we are transmitting. Transmitter power minus 7.19 dBm is reduced to receiver power minus 8.08 dBm, which means we have a loss of 0.89 dB in that fiber in our cable plant. So that's how simple it is to demonstrate the operation of a fiber optic link. We showed how the link worked, how it transmits data, how to measure transmitter and receiver power, and use that information to calculate link loss. The FOA has more information on how you can do this demonstration yourself at fiberu.org slash DIY. Make sure it's capital D-I-Y. Many FOA instructors incorporate this type of a demo in their class because it makes it so easy to understand how a fiber optic link works. We're the Fiber Optic Association, the International Professional Association of Fiber Optics, and the internationally recognized certifying body for fiber optic technicians. There's lots more information in the FOA YouTube site and also on our website, foa.org, and on our free online learning site, fiberu.org.